England up against Argentina, which is arguably the biggest game of the Saturday. Uh, Argentina absolutely desperate to get a win to keep their, their hopes alive. Uh, England looking to top the pool with the first real big game for them. You know, they've got France and Argentina in their pool. They haven't faced either of those kind of big guns yet, so it's going to be a big test of where this English team is at. It should be a cracker of a game. Uh, I will put the teams in the description so you guys can check them out. Both sides have made changes, although of varying uh, quantity. Last five results have been pretty one-sided, with England dominating uh, the last five. Uh, five zip, the average score over those five games has been England 30, Argentina 19. So pretty comfortable uh, winners generally over Argentina uh, in recent years. And I say recent, the most recent of those results is actually 2017. And that was 21 to 8. So again, not all that recent, but you kind of take it for what it is. Argentina's last win over England was in 2009. So that is really quite a long time between drinks for the Pumas uh, to get a win over, over England. And um, at Rugby World Cups... England are two from two uh, against Argentina. So it's all stacked against the Argentinians in terms of the the history. But uh, it's all about the present and we'll see what happens. Uh, for England, like I said, the squad, Elliot Daly continues on at fullback. Johnny May comes back into his left wing spot from outside of the squad. And Anthony Watson moves back up from the bench uh, onto the right wing. Tuilangi is back at 13. So that's... That's going to be a nightmare uh, for any team that faces him because he has just been, seems been able to keep fit. He has just been in like barnstorming form. It's really great to see. Uh, Owen Farrell comes back up from the bench into the number 12 jersey, which means George Ford uh, continues on at 10. Ben Youngs and Willie Hines swap again with the 9 jerseys, so uh, Ford gets a start for this one. In the front, well, the Fords, the front row, we we'll start with them. Uh, Marla continues on a loose head. Jamie George is back into the side. Uh, from having a, a rest basically and uh, Sinclair moves up from the bench to tight head. Etoje is back in the second row. He had a rest last week. George Cruz retains his spot in the second row. Likewise, Curry in the back row. Underhill is back at seven uh, from outside the squad and Billy Bully Polar continues on at eight. So the fact that you've got uh, Curry and Underhill there back again, that combo, the breakdown is going to be a very, very uh, well contested area from the English side. And you got Billy V kind of running the ball up, barnstorming runs, uh, no doubt. So that's going to be a very interesting one to watch. Reserves, uh, Cowan Dickey is back to the bench. Marco Vunipola is back, which is great news uh, for England. He's one of the, like, the best props in the world, so having him back is, is excellent news. Uh, Dan Cole's down to the bench. Courtney Laws continues on to the bench. Ludlam's down to the bench from the starting squad. Likewise, Hines, uh, Slade, and Jack Knoll are back. So... You do kind of got a feel for some of the English guys because they have been a squad. I mean, again, they've only played the kind of smaller teams uh, in the pool, but Thokana Singer, um, Jonathan Joseph, um, Genge, these guys all looked really good in their games, and yet they haven't made the squad. But it is about the squad, so they need to give some of the guys who haven't had any game time some game time uh, to get into things and uh, rotate the minutes around. Uh, for, for Argentina... Minimal changes. One big change, but pretty much minimal changes. Uh, Boffelli is still at fullback. Moroni is still at the right wing. And Santiago Carreras, the youngster, is still on the left wing. Same midfield with De La Fuente and Orlando. Same 9 and 10 with Cubelli and Uda Bajeta. Where's Sanchez is the question. He's not even on the bench. He has been totally dropped. Uh, if you didn't follow Super Rugby this year... Um, Sanchez wasn't playing in Super Rugby. He he had gone to sign his contract in France. So uh, there's a guy named uh, Bonija who was playing pretty well. Got the Jaguares to a Super Rugby final. He didn't make the Argentina squad. So uh, it's an interesting one now that they're going with Uda Pajeta at 10. And there's not really a dedicated 10 cover on the bench. They've brought in Lucas Mensa, who from what I know about him, which is not that much because I think he's only played for Argentina like once. Uh, he's more of a midfielder than a 10, but I stand to be corrected on that if that's not true. But uh, yeah, it's definitely an interesting selection from uh, from Mario Ledesma. Uh, the forwards are unchanged except for uh, number 8. So it's uh, Titus Chaparro, Montoya, Figalo. So that means Crevy continues on on the bench, but Montoya's been in top form, so 
No reason to change that up. Petty Lavanini in the second row. Matera Crema, uh, 6-7. And, and Ortega Desio starts at 8. So him and Lazana swap spots. So it's Lazana and Ortega Desio plus uh, Sanchez for Mensa. Those are the only changes for the team. Everyone else is the same. Crevi, Vivas, Medrano, the backup front rowers, Alemano. Uh, like I mentioned, Lazana is Kura as the backup 9. And Delgi is the backup kind of utility back with Mensa there as well. So... It's a bit of a gamble uh, from Mario Ledesma. Sanchez hasn't been great in been in great form, but that guy Bonilla, as like I said, I mean he was a bit hot and cold, but for the most part he was hot. So mm, anyway, uh, these teams both played. Um, well, England played on Thursday, so they've had a bit of a decent break. Uh, the Argentinians played on on Saturday against Tonga, so neither of these teams are on an absolutely short turnaround. They should be decently well rested and it should be uh, hopefully a pretty good game uh, the bookies have got England by 14 points so two try favorites the algorithm from rugby forecast has England by 12 so either way uh, England are predicted to win this not by a landslide but at least fairly comfortably by more than a converted try so yeah but Argentina will be desperate England's first real big test, so we'll see how it goes. You guys let me know your thoughts on the game. How do you think this one is going to go? And, um, yeah, I'll talk to you again soon. See you later.